So we created this brand new game, Lars Run, on the last episode, and while at first it was, um, well, pretty much impossible to beat, I made a couple modifications, and I made one more that is subtle, but I think is going to make the game a little more difficult. And, oh, apparently I can't even get through it on my own. That is terrible. Nope. Try that again. Try that again. Okay. Nope. Actually, I just, I saw something else I wanted to do, so let's just make sure we, we kind of have fun with this, and that'll be okay, and then I'm thinking maybe, just to add a little more to the fun, because I'm a jerk, we'll do something like, nope, that was so close. <laughs> oh, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, there we go. All right, done. So, we have ourselves a, uh, I'm going to say a completed game. I I am a big fan of this start. You got to just go for it, because if you don't, you're going to get chewed up by this thing. Like, if you try to wait, or you don't just run over there, you're, you're kind of messed up. I don't even know if you can get past it at this point. Oh, you can, but it's not by much. Oh, and my, my timing was way off on that one. Oops. I just want to try this one more time and see what happens. Nope. All right, whatever. Good enough. So we have ourselves our game. Let's go ahead and do a market analysis on this. So we bought this as an option in the last episode. And what the market market analysis is going to do, it's going to cost us a hundred bucks and it's going to give us a general uh, overview of the game and its expected performance. So here you can see we have a content count of 47. Now I think that would be blocks, I'm not sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. We'll say that's 47. Because I guess you probably got to count all of these guys right here. So consider adding 22 objects. That's something to do. Maybe we could fill in some stuff up there. Consider adding lighting. We don't have any lighting effects. Consider changing the background color. I don't think we can do that. Good player for the market, 93% unique to this market. Consider investing in more game dev tools. Game has not been tested, consider testing. Oh, how do I test it? I thought I tested it myself. Maybe that didn't count. Um, all right, so we did get a little bit of feedback here. Does, does it count as testing now if I do this? Maybe there's a, a different button for it? I'm not sure. What is that one? Is that just telling me how much it's going to cost to make it? I think that's what that is. Okay, good. Hmm. Well, alrighty then. Well, I just want to try that again one more time. Oh, this is this game is a mess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then someone much better than me can get through a lot faster than me. I I am positive of that. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL because I am actually. You know what? I take that back. Um. Before we do, before, no, 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 we're not done. I think we need to add more. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 blocks exactly. You're welcome. You are welcome. Let's go ahead and, oh, I guess I need to test it again. So let's, uh, here, let's, let's do that. Ah, crud. Gotta be fast. These games are all about speed runs, so you know, stop messing around, KIC. Gotta go, gotta go fast. Gotta go quickly. Okay, we're gonna copy that to the buffer as I then open up another tab in my browser to get yet another game in there. So we have um, Lars Run pretty much ready to go. Looking forward to this. All right, so we did a market analysis. It told us to add some stuff. We have added some stuff. Um, test, we're going to leave that one in there because we might come back to that one. Lars Run is ready to publish. Oh, look at that. The vault has... Does it have some new stuff? Well, it has Dog Run and Chicken Run, but technically those aren't new. All right. Well, I'm not sure why it's it's doing that. Maybe, maybe there's something going on in my developer account. I don't know. Uh, dog Run, Chicken Run. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and publish a new game. We are going to publish Lars Run. It's going to cost us a pretty penny to publish, $710. I'm not feeling good about charging more for it, so I'm going to stick to the $499 bargain price. 
Publish this bad boy. Look at all those blocks we used. 78% rating. Oh. Now, profit of 4,500. Let's go take a look at those numbers because I want to know, is that actually profit? Um, number four on the top seller chart. Yes, it sure is. So our profit is 4,500. Not bad. Not bad. Now, obviously, it brought in more than the previous game at 5,200, but it costs so much to make because I used so many stone blocks and spikes and the bouncy thing and all sorts of stuff. But look at that. We have a pretty good conversion rate again, about the same, which is not bad. I'm not going to I'm not going to be upset about that conversion rate. The gameplay isn't very good. It's fun. The content is good. The originality is good. Got a bunch of fans. Some good sequels, or <laughs> good sequels, good reviews. <laughs> I was reading this one saying, I can't wait for sequel. And then I, I turned that into, I don't know what I turned that into. Uh, sweet game of a bit grindy. Um, hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I don't remember doing any grinding in the game, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. What do I know? I don't, I don't really know anything. It's fine. Let's go ahead and go back and we'll, we'll take a look at what's in the store. So there are some more releases. So we have Horizontus by Gennaro. $5 game. 100% rating. Reminds me of Elephants. It's funny. I'm curious what would happen if we were to try and copy one of these games. Oh, wow. Hello. Okay. Question. Oh. Oh, that was not what I expected at all. Um, nope. I don't... I would imagine there's enough room to do it. Just that I missed. All right, let's try this again. Some of these episodes in the future are going to devolve... Oops. Into a lot of me struggling to get through the game. I, I have a suspicion. I hope not. But I have a suspicion. Jump! Oh, look at that. Unlocked the horizontal spike. All right. I'm looking forward to horizontal spikes. That's going to completely change up how I can make a game. I actually do mean that. It really kind of does. That was, um... That was a heck of a jump. That was that was good. I like that one. Let's take a look at the store and see what we have as options now. We are still... Oh, a lot of money away from being able to buy background colors. A beacon. I don't know what that does. Signals other entities. Uh, boss block. All right, that sounds interesting. We still have those character options. Still have some sand and brick tiles. I'm kind of thinking at this point, maybe we'll just save our money. I'm not really seeing anything that's um, that's sticking out at me and saying, hey, you really need to buy this one. I'm, I'm not, not really seeing that just yet. Boss block beacon. Yeah, I mean, we got the market analysis. We got the dropper because, well, the dropper was free. I'm, I'm going to say we're good right there. I think, I think we're good. I don't even know what else is... I'm not sure what's new. It kind of bothers me when I see that on there. I'm like, well, what am I missing? But I'm not really seeing... I mean, maybe some of these are new ones, but... I mean, we can't afford any of that stuff. It's, it's way too much money, so... Whatever. Let's go back into our editor. And let's take a look here. Um, nope, let's open up our test game for one, because this is kind of a our, our testing ground to play with stuff. So we have some new options here. Those cost a hundred bucks. Those are a hundred bucks. Pretty much all these things are a hundred bucks, except for the the default ones. And the stone is ten bucks. So if we were to do something like um, let's get rid of you just for curiosity's sake, what would that look like? That would look like instant death. That's pretty exciting. So theoretically, I'm, I'm just kind of playing around here now. We could do something like... Something like this. Um, let's get rid of... You need to go away again. Because you're, you're kind of in the way there. And then maybe something like this. And we need to eventually get this guy... Sure, whatever. That looks just dandy. Something like so... And then um, I kind of like leaving that wide open right there. That that sounds really exciting to me. Just out of curiosity, what happens when you do this now? All right, let's try this out. Now, I realize I can't get anywhere, but I, I wanted to see what the spikes do. So look at that. I can totally cheat to win. <laughs> 
Ah, well, that's good. That's good to know. I can cheat to win. Here, let's stop that cheating right now. Um, we'll just do that, and then let's add, uh, something down. Nope. Let's add something down there. We'll get rid of this guy. We don't want that there. Maybe we can add something like so. And, um, two. Nope. Maybe every other, something along those lines. And then we do something like, um... Something like that, because I'm a jerk face. What can I say? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know that I'm actually going to do anything with this game, but it is just... Um... Wow, it is cruel it is. I, I'm... Oops. I'm not sure if I can actually get through this. Oh, dang it. No, so close. All right, come on. Let's do this. We can do this. Uh, nope. I need to I need to wait a little further over here is my problem. Nope. Man, this game is bad. And when I when I say bad, I mean like stupidly difficult. Oh, I just missed that. Well, I guess it's not really that difficult. It's just you got to learn the the timing on everything. That's all. Oh, crud. That was a bad spot to do that. Oh, come on now. I can get through this. It's my own game, dang it. Okay. Nope. Um. Wow. I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure I can get through this, right? I didn't make another impossible game, I, I don't think. <laughs> um... I might have made another impossible game. I'm not really sure. I just... I am not seeing a, a way to get through this one right now. Now, let's stop that guy right there. Nope. Nope. I, I might have made it impossible. I'm not really sure. Nope. That's right. I can't jump right there because the middle spike gets me. Whose idea was it to put so many spikes in place anyway? I mean, come on. That was... That was just cruel and unusual. Ow. Oh. It's like you got to jump up to this spot right here when that is going up so that you still have enough time to jump past it to get onto that guy and then hope you don't get launched into a spike. Which I haven't even looked at what the timing on that would be. I mean, I guess it really depends on on when you get over there. Nope. I was trying to cut a little distance there by going sideways. I, I think this is... I think I'm going to have issues here. Nope. Once again, can't do that. A little too much. A little too much. Okay. Nope. I, I I think I had the option there. I had the had the moment, but it just just I waited too long. Oops. Bad me. Bad me. All right. One more try. One more try. We can do this. Maybe. Okay. Up and up. Oh. I don't think that one's possible. I don't think that one's possible, so I'm going to get rid of it. And we'll put another one of these guys over there and see how that changes things, because that might be just difficult enough. Nope. Apparently, I can't even get past the first part again. Okay, so wait on this one. And then go across. <laughs> oh, this is just a nightmare. Oh, my goodness. All right, so wait for you. And then wait for this one. Nope. Once again, that timing is just all bad. Because all those spikes are, re are are converging at that one moment. I think I got to try a different time to do that. I just... Nope. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Oh, this is... This is a nightmare. See, I should have gone right there. Oh, I got it! <laughs> Alrighty then. So this game works. Problem is, I don't want to release a game called Test, because I don't really like that name, so I'll probably delete this one and, and uh, maybe have to recreate it, which that might be kind of difficult to recreate, because I don't know what in the world I did, but whatever. We'll figure that one out on the next one, because um, I'm not ready to publish a game called Test. That, that doesn't work for me. Can I... Aha! Perfect. I can rename it. Good. Let's call this game Cruel Intent, because I ran out of spaces. Yeah, we're going to call it Cruel Intent. 
that works for me. And we'll publish it on the next one and see how much money we get because right now I need to copy this URL. And um, I don't know which episode, I, I guess I should include the game on this episode, shouldn't I? Because here it is. Uh, I might want to polish it up a little bit just to make it a little more interesting. So um, yeah, we'll do that. I think we'll, we'll need to polish it up before we're ready to publish it because I think it's probably lacking, but whatever. Catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.